Hi, this is Amy and this is Smarter Gmail Lesson 6 and today we're going to add to what we learned in Lesson 5 so let me remind you if you're not watching these on the same day that in Lesson 5 we started talking about canned responses and I told you in that lesson that I was going to show you how to use those with a filter in our next lesson. So here we are, we're going to practice using our filters plus canned responses. So let's start out looking at what a filter is so we're gonna pretend something we're gonna pretend that um, I've got some junk emails here so I just flipped over to my personal account because I don't actually ever use my work account for signing up for anything so I don't get any junk in there but in my personal account I have lots of junk now this stuff is not spam spam is unsolicited junk it usually has to do with how to grow things on your body bigger and we're not interested in that. That we click those messages and we mark them as spam right up here at the top. But this stuff from Home Depot, this isn't spam, this is bacon. I signed up for it. It's my own fault and it really is called bacon, B-A-C-N. So I don't want to see this stuff unless I want to see it, right? So I'm gonna make that happen. So I've just searched for Home Depot up here and I've identified a few of these messages and I put check marks beside them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a filter with this search. So I am going to say to filter these messages if they match the criterion that I've just identified, which is that they're from Home Depot. Look, I've got 624 of them. I'm going to apply this filter to 624 matching conversations and anytime I get one, I'm going to skip the inbox, archive it. So now I don't see it unless I want to see it and then I can search for it. That means I don't have to swipe it and archive it every time I get it. So let me click create filter and those messages are going to go away into the great big box that is the archive. But let's pretend another scenario. Let's pretend that every time somebody emails you with a certain keyword, you want to set off a filter. You want to really create a response to them. So let's look at how we can do this. Let's say that um, it has the words help and eduphoria and anytime somebody emails you with those keywords help and eduphoria in the message that you want to create a filter with this search. What you want to do is you want to send a canned response and the canned response you want to send is the one we created in our last lesson which we called eduphoria and we want to click create filter. So now let's test this filter and see what happens. I'm going to go over to my personal inbox and I'm going to write a letter to my, an email to myself at work and I'm going to put help eduphoria. So let me say help, I can't log into eduphoria and on and on and on you get the picture. So let's send it and let's see if our automatic response worked. Well, looks like it did. There it is. I said from my personal account, help, I can't log into Eduphoria. And here is my work account saying, here's how to fix your Eduphoria problem. That is pretty stinking cool. Now, if you just did that, you might need to turn it back off because people might be mad if they got a message from your email genie. So I'm going to go into my filters and I'm going to turn off the one that I just made and you might want to do that too until you find a real use. Well here's where you can find them. You're going to go to your gear and settings and then your filters and um, you want to find the one that you just made and then you want to delete that filter. So here's mine right here, matches help eduphoria, and I'm going to go ahead and delete that filter just so I don't accidentally do that. But hopefully you get the picture that can be very useful and um, might be a technique that you want to use to save yourself some time. Hope that helps. Thanks and have a great day.